I was a child when I was um, starting to watch Star Trek and uh, I thought that it's very interesting and I heard uh, many different words which I did not understand like pulsars, quasars, different type of stars and galaxies and I started to uh, look uh, online uh, trying to understand what are these objects and I started to learn more about it and I really fell in love with the topic. And then when I was 18, I uh, get an opportunity to visit the very large telescopes in Chile through a high school competition. And uh, over there, it was just magical, like being in uh, one of the darkest places on Earth. You see so many stars I never have seen before. Uh, you see the Milky Way, you see galaxies by naked eye. It's, uh, it's really amazing. And that was for me the moment when I decided, okay, this is what I would like to do. I'm doing uh, planet and satellite formation. I'm trying to figure out how giant planets born and how their satellites form around them and trying to figure out how the solar system uh, came to be and how other planetary systems form. We are at the server room in our building where our uh, data is stored. I'm doing a lot of computer simulations. These require a lot of disk space. For me only it's roughly uh, 20 terabytes which is stored over here on these racks. And the computations are actually performed in the National Computational Center down in Lugano in the south of uh, the country. This is where uh, all the computations are running and then the data stored here and I'm working with the data over here. I grew up in Budapest in Hungary and um, I started the university there. I did my physics bachelor there. Then I get an opportunity to work at NASA as a research assistant, so I moved to the US for a year. And I'm only 29 and I lived in two different continents, four different countries and I like to travel a lot. This is actually also my hobby, to, to travel and see the world and um, visit my friends who are all over the world because, you know, science is very international. I get notified by Forbes in 2017, January, that I made it to the final list of uh, 30 young scientists. And uh, I was very surprised. I really did not think that this was going to happen, and uh, uh, I felt very honored. For me, planets are more um, you know, closer to reality. I mean, we are living on one planet and, uh, and I thought that what is really interests me is how the life came to be on Earth. Why are we here? Why we can discuss about this? And I thought that uh, planets are really cool, especially because during my childhood there were the first exoplanet discoveries. And since then the field is blooming. It's a very newborn field. Of course, I would like to have a permanent position in 10 years, being either a researcher in a research institute or being a professor at a university and having my own uh, small group of uh, planet formation and satellite formation people. And uh, I would like to continue research and that's my goal.